Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and I hope everybody is having a good Tuesday afternoon. Hopefully you are getting some sunshine like we are up here, but I do have some breaking news that just came hot off the press just a little while ago. Two different topics. We're talking with the UN Secretary General just announced about nuclear war could be intimate. And then we have the United States government, Washington, D.C., is now going to be implementing more heavy sanctions against Russia. Where do you think this is all going, folks? So we're going to dive in to these two articles that just came hot off the press within an hour or so ago. And you all need to really pay attention and listen. All right, so the first one we're going to start with here is the World War III threat rising. UN Secretary General sounds alarm after North Korea signals nuclear conflict is intimate. Now he goes on to say that following North Korea's claim right down here, the isolated country is on the verge of a nuclear conflict. And he said this during the address to the General Assembly on International Day for the total elimination of nuclear weapons in New York City, just hours ago, he revealed that this came after Kim Sung, North Korea's ambassador to the United Nations, asserted to the assembly here in New York City about the intimate danger of nuclear war on the Korean Peninsula, blaming South Korea's reliance on external forces for the tense situation, meaning they don't like that we're there. Then it goes on down. I'll make sure that these links are in the description below so everybody can go in and read the whole thing because I'm just going to touch on just a little bit here. I want to try to keep this short and sweet. He emphasized the real only way to prevent the use of nuclear weapons is to eliminate them. Any use of a nuclear weapon, anytime, anywhere, in any context, would unleash a humanitarian catastrophe of epic portions, echoing the sentiments of survivors of Hiroshima and Nagasaki. So, what does this all mean? Well, for some reason, the North Koreans, their ambassador, found that, hey, we maybe want to make sure that everybody knows, you know, this could be coming. And, you know, we've heard this before from them. But I don't know if we actually heard it from them right here in New York City in front of the United Nations and coming from the ambassador himself. Red flags are flying here. Now, let's go on over here. This just came out at 2.15, a little over an hour ago. And Russia to get hit with major sanctions in response to this Nevladi's death. All right. So this dude they killed. And it says right here, whatever story the Russian government decides to tell the world, it's clear that President Putin and his government are responsible for Mr. Nevladi's death, Kirby said Tuesday morning. In response, and at President Joe Biden's direction, wow, we will be announcing a major sanction package on Friday of this week to hold Russia accountable for what happened to Mr. Navani's. They already have really strict uh, sanctions and everything else have been placed on Russia because of the Ukraine war. Now, as did say, Kirby did not go into details about what the new sanction package would look like or include, but noted the sanctions will also work to hold Russia accountable for its ongoing war with Ukraine. So, in one way, shape, or form, we're slowly getting into this conflict, folks. Take it for what it's worth. We need to start preparing because these people are out of control. There are videos in both these articles that you can go in and you can watch. And this way here, you guys can take it 
upon yourselves to do your own homework, make your own conclusions or whatever else. Comment below, though, what you think this could mean. And do we believe it is the biggest point. If anything else, this is telling us there are some fires that are brewing. Maybe now it's a really good time to make sure you're a little ahead on your preps or at least trying to get there because it wouldn't take much for something to happen. And I believe if once, if somebody pushes a button, there's going to be other people pushing buttons besides us. If you get what I'm saying, it's kind of be like dropping the green light. And here we go. And like the secretary general did say, it would be a catastrophic event that no one has seen since Hiroshima or Nagasaki. And do we really want to go down that rabbit hole? Think about it. I think we all need to be doing what we can, paying attention. I mean, this comes from the ambassador from North Korea in New York today in the United Nations Assembly. We haven't heard something like that from him there before. You know, everybody is not really happy about the way that we are doing things. We've beefed up everything over in in South Korea and Japan and the whole area down there. So, you know, around Taiwan, around the Korean Peninsula, you know, nobody's really happy about all this. And then... In Russia, you know, they're not happy because we keep funding the war. We keep giving things and everything else, even though I think they're saying that, you know, they're not, they haven't been sending stuff. I find that hard to believe. I mean, how would they still be fighting over there if they didn't have ammunitions and weapons and everything else? Hello, something doesn't smell right here. You know, what is Joe Biden up to? Or does he even know what he's up to? I guess it'd be the question. It's like we're poking the bear. Are we ready for the repercussions? It's kind of like you going out in the woods and going up to a bear's den and waking the sucker up in the middle of winter. It's not going to end pretty. My thoughts are, but you can comment below, but my thoughts are you might want to take a quick assessment of what your preps are and make adjustments as you see fit. So I'm Survival Preparedness for Beginners. I hope you all have a wonderful Tuesday afternoon and evening and stay tuned. I'm sure there's going to be more coming out of this story, especially come Friday. Could get ugly. Y'all stay safe. Keep prepping. Till next time, catch you all on the flip side.